Good morning, Ramley and other NFL family. Peo Tom here, your Canadian Ram fan, and I was just decorating for my watch party later today, and I thought, you know what? It's game day. I always do a pregame morning vlog, so this is it. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day, whether you're at work, school, whatever you're doing. Uh, maybe you're just hanging out and you're on holidays. I hope you're having a great time. If you're if it's cold out like it is where I live. Bundle up, drink that hot chocolate or coffee or whatever it is. Eat that breakfast. Get your shopping done if you're doing that. Because I know today is going to be a long day. <laughs> if you're a Rams fan or a Saints fan, whenever there's a big game, just the day seems to go by so slow. A couple of injury updates uh, for this game here. Let me just share my screen because sharing is caring here. Uh, we've been kind of monitoring this on the short week. Uh, just because of it being a short week and injuries are a factor. For the Saints, it looks like Foskey is out. Johnson Jr., the corner, their cornerback is out. So uh, I believe Lattimore is going to play. Uh, we haven't seen anything about him not playing, but I know there was some question marks about him. Uh, and then uh, I'm, I apologize if I'm butchering this name, but Ryan Razchuk, which is an awesome name, also out for this game running back Kendron Miller is questionable but for you know for the Saints it's going to be Alvin Kamara the carrying the load of the carries and then uh Jamal Williams will be the second back there so they have definitely threats on the ground the Rams are looking pretty healthy Trey Tomlinson is going to be out I know a lot of Ram fans want to see more from him not going to be this game Joe Note Boom is questionable so Definitely watch that, but Rams looking pretty healthy coming into this game. And at this point of the season, and you know, it, this season especially, health is wealth in the NFL. Huge advantage if your you know, best players are available at this point in the season. So it's an important game. I know that it's so many people are doing the math of, okay, if the Rams lose this game, how do they make the playoffs? If they win this game, it's a lot easier for them to make the playoffs. So this is a playoff game. This is a playoff game. So I'm excited for it. Feel free to check out my watch party later today uh, during the game. We're going to watch and react and just try and survive together. <laughs> take take the blood medication. Get the defibrillator ready. I have the thumbs on standby. It's going to be a blast and a half and just so thankful that, uh, you know, my favorite team is playing good, you know, football this time of year. And uh, if you're a Saints fan watching this, good luck to your Saints. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm, I know that uh, the Saints want this game just as much as the Rams do, and it's going to be a battle. Really, in, in my mind, I, I have a hard time getting a prediction on this game. I don't know. I do not know what this game is going to be. Is it going to be low scoring, punt fest? Is it going to be a high scoring barn burner somewhere in between? I don't know. All I know is I'm hoping the Rams can win. I'm hoping that Kyron Williams, Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, Matthew Stafford, and this Rams offense can put some points on the board and that this Rams defense can generate some turnovers off of Derek Carr and company. So we'll see. That's all for me for this morning. Good morning. Happy game day, everyone. Thanks for watching this video. And as always, go Rams, horns up, and peace out. We will see you at the watch party.